Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, I just picked up another Crown Vic from the auctions. Look at this beautiful car. Uh, no, sorry, not this one. This one's terrible. That one. That one right there. All right, this is a 2009 Crown Vic Police Interceptor that I just picked up at auction. It has 149,000 kilometers. Uh, not sure what that is in miles for my American listeners, but it's low kilometers. This car is one of the best I've ever seen. I'm going to show you what it's like, but it has one problem, which I've got to solve. Okay, let's first of all just go around the car. The paint uh, for one of these cars is fantastic. You can see how bad the paint can be on these Crown Vicks. Look how bad that is. Look how bad that is. This one it's very good not perfect they're never perfect but it's really not bad okay first of all the front end no push bar so the bumper is nice and clean brand new headlight near new headlight no problems on this side just some minor nicks and bumpers not too bad no holes in the rear deck this is a clean looking Crown Vic police interceptor. Does have a slight little dent right here, hardly noticeable with the white paint. It's got the, uh, the mirror covers in place as it should. No hole, so no, uh, no spotlight on this one. No cracks in the windshield, not even any chips. Awesome. You have to admit, that's one good looking Crown Vic. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. This is pretty good. It does have the normal rips, always ripped here. Um, the seat cushions are still in really good shape. They got, they got good um, contours, so I can tell that the springs are not broken in this one, which is good. The vinyl, the vinyl flooring is fantastic. Look at this, that's really clean. And uh, steering wheel, it's smooth, a little bit smoothed off, but no chunks at all. Very clean, very clean indeed. Just look at the floor. You can almost eat off this floor. Really nice, really nice. Rear seats, again, no rips, no tears. Nice, again, very nice. And look at the vinyl, clean. Let's take a look at the motor. Okay, here we have how you like to see it. And it is actually pretty clean here. For a car from 2009, this is pretty darn clean. Uh, all fluids look good. It's got a recent alternator, which these often get replaced, and it's got a new plastic manifold. Those also get replaced, and this one's got a new one. Battery's good, all fluids are good, car runs great. All right, so this is a really clean 2009 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. It's a good find, but it's a little bit special. I wanna show you one of the reasons why it's special. There's two reasons, actually. First of all, the tires are, well, basically brand new. <laughs> so, brand new tires. Uh, these are Firehawk GT Pursuit tires. You can see Pursuit right there. So these are special police tires, as far as I know. Maybe uh, somebody with more expertise can tell me how rare this is. I don't believe that if you're a civilian, you can just go up and buy these from Firestone. These are brand new Pursuit tires. Um, also, I'm not sure what makes them different. They could have additional reinforcements in the sidewall so that you can jump over curbs like you do, but um, I'm not really sure. Maybe someone else can, can clarify exactly what the difference is, what makes the Pursuit tire Pursuit. Okay, so this is also pretty special. I don't know if I can show you. Um, I have washed the car, it's been raining, so it's a little bit of rust on the rotors. But can you see, okay. So these rotors are brand new. I don't know if you can see, but they're cross-drilled rotors, slotted and cross-drilled. Brand new rotors, slot, first time I've ever seen that. Uh, sort of like a performance thing you might see on Porsches or even on my FRS over there. So Pursuit tires and cross-drilled rotors. That's 
pretty unusual. Okay, so the car's clean, special tires, special rotors in the front. Got one problem. Everything works except for one thing. Hey, get out of my way. Horn doesn't work. Horn doesn't work. Everything else works. Horn doesn't work. Okay, so the horn not working on a Crown Vic police interceptor that someone has bought from auction is quite a common problem, as I found out by looking on the forums and checking out YouTube. There's a couple of solutions that I found online uh, for why the horns may not be working, and I'm going to go over a few of those now as I look for a solution to this particular horn not working. So one of the first things I found online of a possible solution is that there are wires, wires that are right, right underneath the passenger side, a bunch of wires. This is a big connector. And in the videos I saw, there's an, a blue wire that's disconnected. Now there is a blue wire here. I don't know if that's the one. This one looks like it's all connected into the, this coupler, whatever it is. But in the other videos, it was disconnected. You reconnect it, horns work. But in my case, I don't see any disconnected wires. Everything looks like it's supposed to. So I wasn't sure if that was it. So that was my first stop. Okay, my second stop, which probably should be the first thing you check, but it's my second thing I'm checking, is the fuse box. Okay, open the fuse box in the engine compartment, and as I've been told, the horn fuse is one, two, three, four, five. Number five here. It's a 20 amp fuse. <clears throat> and let's check it out, see what it looks like. I can see that this fuse is still good. So this would be the first thing you check. Could be a blown fuse. I'll just put that back where I found it. Okay. The other thing to check is that it could be the horn relay. And from my research, the horn relay should be this guy right here. So you can always take this guy out. Oh. Might be hard to do, but it'll come. Come on. Okay, it came out. And you can check the relay. Oops. You can check the relay. One way to check the relay is simply move a relay from here over to here. Any of these relays you can put here and uh, they can't all be bad, so that's one way to check it. Come on, get out, come on. Why won't you? Oh, okay. And then switch, and switch places. Put that guy in, and uh, put that guy in. Now that might show whether or not that relay was bad. Still doesn't work. Next step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the horns themselves. The horns are underneath this plastic cover here. So take the plastic cover off, which is fairly easy. I'll show you how to do that. Let's see here. These little connectors can come right to the heck out. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, out. And that's how you lose them. Connectors are out. So lift this up and out, just like that. Oh, okay, here's the horns. You got two horns and there's a connector. So then I watched another video about there being a connector down here, which is the proper one that should be plugged in, not this one. Um, this one looks definitely factory, so I don't know about that, but there's supposed to be another connector somewhere down here in the wire, and I don't know where it is. So. Just to look down there, I'm going to take this off. Okay, simply take off this, these horns. You just simply have to undo this eight millimeter bolt. Pretty easy, you can see it's loose already. Okay. Right, and, oops. Move it to the side and then maybe I can see what's going on here. Okay, move that guy over there. Now I got this connector here. Now I've seen this connector before on other Crown Vicks. I have no idea where this goes to. Uh, maybe it goes to a siren, no idea. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. This is definitely not gonna fit in there. Don't need that. 
Got these guys, and I don't know what this is. I really don't. Um, anybody knows what this is? I don't know. Okay. Oh, um, I know what this is. This is probably the, um, the crash sensor. What do you think? Crash sensor, maybe. Anyway. This is, oh, and this looks loose. Where is that supposed to be attached to? Is that supposed to be up high? I don't know. Anyway, this is a plastic conduit. There's wires going in here and... Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I've got this, what's in here? It's hard to do this with one hand. All right, that's interesting. What do I got here? Okay. That's interesting. Okay. I've got two cut wires. Come on off. Okay, so I can see that these two green wires are directly into the horn wiring harness right here. And what do you think? Should I just connect these two together? I don't know. I should check and see if there's any electricity coming through these wires first. Okay, I've exposed the, the wires, taken the insulation off, and I'm going to test to see if there's any electricity coming through here. No, nothing. And nothing. I could blow a fuse, but I'm going to put these two wires together. I'm just going to do it. Okay, I have temporarily just fastened these two wires together together and then I'm going to try the horn. Okay, what do you think? Is the horn going to work? Let's find out. Yes! <laughs> that was it! Okay, so that's a lesson. A lot of cut wires on Crown Vic police interceptors as they're decommissioning them, taking off various sirens, various signals, lights, everything else. They just simply cut the wires and then just stuff them back in. And of course that can cause you a problem because then the horns don't work and they don't care. So it's up to you to find them. So I've noticed this before on different other things, lighting, headlights, stuff like that, that you gotta check the wiring. And in this case, it turned out to be a simple solution. Look for the cut wiring, maybe underneath the dash as I did at first, or just these two guys. So I'm gonna solder this together, tape it up, put it down there, I got horns. All right, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to show off this awesome looking Crown Vic, but I also wanted to explain how uh, certain problems like the horn not working can have, a, can have a simple solution such as just the cut wires, join them together and you're good to go. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you got something out of it. Anyway, if you did, please like and subscribe for more. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.